I often mention how this uh, theme music reminds me, I think it is the same theme music that was used for NBC Sports back uh, in a previous generation. So it's sort of like, you know, we're about ready to hear, I don't know, uh, Dick Enberg and Merlin Olsen or something like that, you know. Anyhow, uh... I wanted to uh, discuss this. I'm Marky Bilson, by the way, Tri-City Sports Now. And, uh, oh, before we get into Tom Brady signing his extension, which I want to get into, uh, and I guess they're going to make the official announcement today. Let me see if I, well, this is going to be riveting radio. Let me see if it's up on the wire now, if we've got the sound for it. Yeah, that's really, I'm listening to a man search the internet. Boy, is that just riveting radio and all that. There is, though, one uh, bit of news, and I, I think that uh, those who uh, uh, those are pretty much aware of it, but Jerry wanted to send his congratulations out to John Ford, who won his 150th NHRA race in the Funny Cars, and there had been this talk about when was this going to happen, could it happen in Bristol uh, about a month ago? Well, it finally has, so although Jerry will not be with us next week, or, excuse me, he will be with us next week. He won't be with us. Uh, he'll be with us for Bristol, but he won't be with us on Friday at 1 p.m. So, uh, to talk about the race in Michigan. All right. So, that's the way it goes there. Tom Brady is to sign a two-year, $70 million extension of the New England Patriots. Uh, you know what he said? He's wanted to play until he's 45 years old. He's willing even to put his foot down for Gazelle Bunchen, who says, boy, did I want you to retire after your fifth Super Bowl. No, honey, I'm having so much fun. I'll win another Super Bowl and another and another, and I'll have more Super Bowls than anybody. I'll be the Bill Russell of the NFL. Hmm, Russell played in Boston, too. Maybe that's a motivation that no one has thought of. Possibility. But anyway, uh, Tom Brady has signed a two-year, $70 million extension, and uh, this will call for him to make $30 million in 2020, $32 million in, 20, in 2021. He would be 44. That would mean, okay, last season for Tom Brady, not that we're really, yeah, let's get him out of there. Although there are probably 31 other teams that are like, yeah, let's get him out of there. It'll be 2022. All right. Uh, talking a little bit about this. Tom Brady will get, this also gives him a real nice raise this year. He's deserved it. And I think this is one of the reasons why the New England Patriots win all the time. And I don't look so much at Bill Belichick there. I look at Bob Kraft. Look, let's face it. Okay. Bill Belichick is a cold coach. A lot of talk to Terry Bradshaw and Chuck Knoll back in the day didn't necessarily see things eye to eye. Well, I think you say the same thing about Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. I mean, they'll even say, hey, did you read they being the media, did you read Tom Brady's new book? No, I would I do I see him every day in practice. Come on. <laughs> the always uh, engaging Bill Belichick, you know. Well, this is the difference, and this is why I think Robert Kraft, look, the Patriots never won anything before Robert Kraft bought the team. I guess they went to the Super Bowl in 85, or, I, did they win an AFL title? I don't think they won it. No, I think it was they lost the AFL at the Boston Patriots at Balboa Stadium to the Chargers. I, th I think that's the case in 63. The Jim Nance era, that sort of thing. But, okay, um, looking at that, Nance, by the way, not the sportscaster, N-A-N-C-E. He was a running back. He was real good years ago. Okay, an old man now, but regardless. Okay, um... Where we're going with this is Tom Brady. Remember, there was all that talk a couple of years ago about Jimmy Garoppolo and that Jimmy Garoppolo was going to be the heir apparent to Tom Brady. He went 3-0 in his steed after Deflategate. Remember that? And, okay, then what happened? 
Garoppolo has dealt the 49ers. And Belichick's supposedly very upset about this because, after all, he didn't want old quarterback banner. He already done that with Bernie Kosar. Well, if you're old enough to remember, and if you're not, I'll tell you, let me tell you what happened when, after signing a big extension as a contract, Bill Belichick, and pretty much Bill Belichick alone, decided to cut Bernie Kosar and go with Vinny Testaverde as his quarterback. Well, all that meant was that everyone in Cleveland, Ohio, hated Bill Belichick, and you've never heard a more, had a more unpopular coach than what Bill Belichick was in Cleveland. I've mentioned this many, many a time. And it, a lot of it stems from that cutting of the hometown hero, Bernie Kosar, who every Browns fan thought had a lot of football left in him. Whether he did or not, debatable, but every Browns fan certainly did. I can remember he was pulled from a game for Vinny Testaverde, down two touchdowns. Testaverde led the Browns back in 93 to a victory. I can remember watching that with some Browns fans. They went nuts, but they didn't want to get let go. Bernie Kosar, just one bad game, right? Well, Belichick became the villain after he cut Bernie Kosar. I think that Belichick was thinking somewhat the same with Brady. Now, as I said before, I mean, Testaverde, Browns basically won with Testaverde. They went to the playoffs next year. They won 11 and 5. Lost to the Steelers in the playoffs, but still, okay. Testaverde had a revival of his career. The circumstance, however, is that I do think that Belichick, you know, thinking, okay, younger man, no sentiment with Bill Belichick. And he was looking to groom Garoppolo to take Brady away, and Kraft made the deal and traded him to San Francisco. Garoppolo, I should say, instead. And supposedly Belichick was upset about this. Now, I'm going to tell you why the Patriots made the right move. And it's like this. If you were in a business, I don't know, sales, and you were always a salesman. In fact, you were the top salesman at your company. But you know what? If they got rid of you at this period of time, because there's a young up-and-comer, well then, guess what? They don't have to pay him as much. Then he might be able to sell for longer. And he might be able to get the new contracts in. But it would not speak well of the business that they treated their employees that way. Who has done more for the New England Patriots than Tom Brady? Nobody. You reward your good employees with loyalty. And you have them be part of the organization. You don't treat them like numbers. Belichick treats you like numbers. Belichick's doing money ball. I mean, Belichick, he brings in the veteran, the old veteran. Let's say, you know, it'd be a Randy Moss or it'd be a Junior Seau in the past or whatever, you know, and all this. He brings in that veteran play. Well, well you don't have uh, Wes Welker. Well, Danny Amendola is the same production. Bring him in. You know, I mean, he does that, but the player becomes the number. I mean, it makes it that much more difficult or that much easier to get rid of an Aaron Hernandez for a Rob Gronkowski. I'll give you that. But the player becomes number. Rob Kraft is making sure that Tom Brady is not a number. Say what you will about Kraft after the, uh, you know, the health spa incident or whatever, but he's taking care of his employees. That's good owner. That's making the employees, in this case the players, feel secure. That's a player cut by another team, like I mentioned, those old veterans coming into a winner. Okay, we'll do what Belichick says. We'll put up with his crabbiness, but we're going to win. And, hey, there's Tom Brady, a real leader anyway. That's why the Patriots win. They're loyal to their employees. Or at least Rob Kraft is. Yeah. It's Kraft and Brady more than Belichick. Believe me on that. It's SoCon John Hooper talking about the Southern Conference coming up next. Theater is a world-renowned destination.